cognizant to the needs of our learners, parents, and teachers, the Department of Education provided us with powerful tools for productivity that will allow us to foster critical thinking skills, problem-solving skills, communication and collaboration skills to be compassionate, responsible global citizens. Join us and discover new ideas in our series of professional development training program with the ICTS EdTech Unit and Microsoft Education Philippines. Together, we will equip our learners and empower our fellow educators for a dynamic future. Para sa bata, para sa bayan, at para sa guro. Sulong Edukalidad! Magandang araw, Sir Wilbur po, at your service. Narito ang itulay upang gabayan ka sa inyong pag-aaral upang lubos na maunawaan ang iba't ibang paksa o subject. Ang itulay ay isang free online. Magandang araw, Sir Wilbur po, at your service. Narito ang itulay upang gabayan ka sa inyong pag-aaral upang lubos na maunawaan ang iba't ibang paksa o subject. Ang itulay ay isang free online tutorial class na pinangungunahan ng ICTS Educational Technology Unit sa pumumuno ni Undersecretary Alain Del B. Pasqua. Ang programang ito ay hindi lamang para sa mga bata, kundi ito rin ay magsisilbing gabay sa mga magulang at mga guro kung paano nila ituturo o gagabayan sa bawat asignatura ang kanilang mga anak o mga estudyante. Sa kasalukuyan, ang self-learning module mula sa regyon ng Calabarzon at kilala sa tawag na pivot ang ginagamit sa ating itulay online class. Kaya ano pang hinihintay ninyo? Ihanda na ang inyong mga ballpen o lapis, papel o kwaderno at samahan kaming itulay ang pagkatuto para sa bawat batang Pilipino. Sama-sama tayong magtutulungan para malampasan ang mga hamon sa panahong ito. Halina't matuto kasama ang inyong online tutor sa oras na ito. Good morning, dear students, parents, and fellow educators. So once again, we are in, uh, as again, in our EdTech Itula tutorial, which is business ethics. So shout out muna tayo. Okay. Nakakatuwa. A shout out kay Mary Ann Mercado, Eugenia Perez Sevilla, Maui ako sa ako, Jenly Moreno, Anika, Giselle Katampatan, and uh -huh, Men uh, Mency, Alburo, J uh, Jamie. Uh, uh, nakakatuwa naman. Kasi ang daming nanonood ngayon, despite na holiday ngayon, nakakatuwa mga dear students. Okay. So again, uh, we are in the week two, quarter three of our business ethics. Okay. So, which is core principles in business operations. Okay. So I am your Etec Itulai again. I am your Etec Itulai tutor teacher Shia. So our Etec Itulai tutorial for business ethics starts at eleven o'clock in the morning, uh, and ends at eleven thirty. Uh, every business Friday. Okay, so let's start. Okay. So before we start, let's have the objective of our tutorial. At the end of our tutorial, you are expected to illustrate how fairness, accountability, transparency, and stewardship is observed in business and non-profit organization. Pero mag-shout out muna tayo, nakakatawa. So good morning sa inyong lahat. Maria Talata, uh, Amen, Macy. Bernarte, Alan Casanova, Salvador Palencia, Miren Mercado. Okay, so wow, watching here from the geek from Janie Martha Altea Rodriguez. And then shout out po sa Loo Elementary School Cardona Rizal. 
from Evelyn Palino Reli, uh, Ribamba, Lambrinto. Maram salamat. Hello po, good morning from Santiago City, from uh, Rowena Carion. Shout out sa inyo. Okay. Sige. So, start na po tayo. Ayan, bago tayo mag-start, let's have the review. Okay. So, ready na ba? My dear, uh, uh, dear students, ready na kayo sa ating review. Okay. So, another term for business is enterprise, firm, agency, or all of the above. Okay, sige, wait natin ang mga sagot ng ating mga dear students. Mm -hmm. Good morning sa inyo. Okay, so the correct answer is yes. So all of the above. So business is as well an enterprise, a firm, and an, an agency. Okay, yeah, not yan. Okay. Yeah, wow. Uh, uh, correct. Uh, lucky Bato Bato. And then, Elsmer Lara Santos. Ang galing-galing. Maric Maricor L.M. San Victores. Okay, very good. Next tayo. A form of business organization owned by the shareholders that has a life of up to 50 years. So, is it single proprietorship? Partnership? Corporation or cooperative? Wow, very good naman mga ating mga students. Okay, so what is... Hi sa inyo. What is the correct answer for this? So the correct answer is... Corporation. Very good. So tamang-tama, Beverly, Joy, and Ramos, and De La Cruz De Leon, Lucky Bato Bato. Mm -hmm. Very good naman ang ating mga students. Dali Taro Valles Navarro. Uh, Ramos Santa Maria Paul Paulino. Next tayo. A form of business organization that is owned by one individual. Single proprietorship, partnership, corporation, or cooperative. Ay, ang galing naman ang ating mga students. So, what is the correct answer for this? It owned by one individual. Okay, very good. It's uh, the answer is single proprietorship. A. Okay. So, ano sino nakatama ng sagot? June Narca, Princess Joy Riego, Ramos Santa Maria Paulino. Okay, Princess Joy Riego. Okay, very good. Sa lahat. So, start na tayo, no? Sa ating lesson for today. So, we have the correct, uh, the core principles in business operations. Gagaling ng ating mga sudyante. So, we have the fairness, accountability, stewardship, and transparency. Okay, so yung fairness, accountability, stewardship, uh, stewardship, and transparency. Those are the core principles in business operations. Okay, so let's start with fairness. Okay. So fairness refers to the level of even-handedness in dispensing justice whereby claims are recognized in the order of their legal and contractual priority to say even handedness fairness it's more uh, more on equality diba uh, fairness as well as how let's talk about justice justice means giving each person what he or she deserves or in more traditional terms giving each person his or her due. So, sinasabi dito, ang principle of justice is equal, equal should be treated equally and an equals 
unequally. It's according with the, with Aristotle. So, ano ibig sabihin yan? Individuals should be treated the same unless they dif differ in ways that are relevant to the situation in which they are involved. So, it's accordance with, uh, according to Velasquez, Andre, and Shanks. So, ang fairness natin, it is most likely justice and fairness as, uh, bakit natin uh, define ang fairness and as well justice. Because justice and fairness are closely related terms that are often uh, used today, no? Inter uh, interchangeably. Meaning to say, uh, yung fairness, pag, uh, pag inano natin, uh, like, when we talk about fairness, it's as well uh, justice, okay? There, uh, there have, however, also been more distinct understanding of the two terms. While justice usually has been used with reference to a standard of rightness, fairness often has been used with regard to an ability to judge without reference to one's feelings, or interest. Fairness has also been used to refer to the ability to make judgments that are not overly general, but that are concrete and specific to a particular case. Most likely, if we talk about fairness and justice, more on equality. No? So, let's have the different kinds of justice. So if we say uh, different kinds of justice, we have distributive justice, we have retributive or corrective justice, and we have compensatory justice. What is distributive justice? Okay. If we say distributive justice refers to the extent to which societies, institutions ensure that Benefits and burdens are distributed among society's members in ways, in ways that are fair and just. So, ano ibig sabi nito? Example, when, is, when the institutions of a society distribute benefits or burdens in unjust ways, there is a strong presumption that those in the institutions should be changed. Okay? So, parang kapag ang institution, parang... Uh, Yung sa mga empleyado, no? Uh, we talk about business, no? Sa, sa mga benefits ng empleyado, sa mga, tag dito, sa mga, uh, let's talk about yung mga, yung quality, no? Ng mga services and products. So, kailangan, uh, most likely, uh, yung institution na yun ay dapat sinasabi dyan ay mag-change, Okay? So we have, so most likely, ano ang dapat na i-change doon ang management, no? So we have retributive justice. Refers to the extent to which punishments are fair and just. So ano ang example niyan? In general, punishments are held to be just to the extent that they take into account relevant criteria such as the seriousness of the crime and the intent of the criminal and discount irrelevant criteria such as race. So most likely kapag sa ating, kaya nga sa ating uh, tag dito, uh, mga organizations, meron tayong tinatawag na code of ethics. So kapag yan ay nilabag, no? So, pag yan ay nilabag, merong punishment na karampatan. So, most likely, most likely kapag crime, we talk about crime, meron uh, para ma-exercise ang fair, uh, fairness and justice, uh, binibigyan ng due process. Okay? So, meron yang uh, uh, ample time para sa uh, investigation. Okay, let's talk about Compensatory justice. It refers to the extent to which people are fairly compensated for their injuries by those who have injured them. Just compensation is proportional to the loss inflicted on a person. Example. So, sa isang institution, 
at uh, uh, sa isang company or organization yung mga workers doon na injure while working no so doon they are uh, yung parang gusto nila na magkaroon ng fairness and justice regarding doon paano syempre sila ay na-injure so kailangan sila ay uh, merong just compensation doon pwedeng sabihin natin na uh, tag dito yung babayaran sila ng kumpanya ganyan o kaya uh, in regards with the with the uh, illness o kaya accident or injury so kailangan managot doon ang company okay so sig maaring uh, in regard uh, it i relate natin doon sa mga medical expenses o kaya sa mga benefits ng mga company. Okay, good morning, Christine Kagampang. Good morning sa inyo, Lorena Edera and Mary Lelaine Del Rosario. Okay, Ellen Mariano Suatenko. Good morning sa inyo. Okay, let's move on. We have accountability. Okay. So, if we say accountability, it is the obligation. Okay. Obligation of an individual or organization to account for its activities. Accept responsibility for them and to disclose the results in a transparent manner. If we talk about accountability, you are accountable. Uh, it as well connotes with or relate with or same with... Uh, or synonymous with uh, responsibility, blameworthiness, and liability. No? So, pag pag may bin up, let, let's relate it to a uh, to a company, no? Or in in your work, no? Let's say you are given a certain uh, certain uh, what they call that task, okay, by your superior. No? O yung iyong mga duties and responsibilities, those are your accountabilities. No? Most likely, ang accountability din, hindi lang siya doon sa obligation. Ang accountability din, uh, nire-relate natin yun sa uh, regard, uh, nire-relate natin siya with uh, monetary. No? Okay? So, if you are entrusted with a certain property or in, in, uh, uh, in, uh, in, entrusted with a certain uh, monetary, yan. So, you are accountable with that. Kasi pinagkatiwalaan ka. Okay? Ayan. Ayan pala. It also includes a responsibility for money or other in, uh, entrusted property and synonymously with responsibility, blamelessness, and liability. Kaya kapag hindi mo nagawa ng maayos ang iyong uh, trabaho, yung binigay sa iyong task, no? O responsibility, yan, pwede kang, you are li liable dyan, pwede kang, pwede ka rin, and, and, kaya nga may, may sinasabi tayo dyan, sinasabi tayo dyan blame, worthiness. Okay? So, good morning, Madeline. Madeline Jacinto and Amalia Caballero. Reynaldo Partido. Blessed morning. Watching from Echaga East Central School. And from Men Galura Corpus. Good morning po. Viewing from Pampanga. Yan. Monetary and core values. Yan. Nagdaleng from June Narca. So, let's have corporate accountability. It refers to the act of being accountable to the stakeholders of an organization, which may include shareholders, employees, suppliers, customers, the local community, and even the particular countries that the firm operates in. So, paano naging accountable ang isang uh, company or organization in terms of the shareholders? Naturamente, sila ay nag-invest. So, kailangan ibigay, uh, uh, ibigay natin yung dapat na kanilang dib, uh, dividendo. Kasi pag hindi natin ibinigay yun, we are accountable to that. 
employees in terms of their safety and security in our in in the workstation habang sila ay nagtatrabaho we are accountable to them okay kaya nga uh, para dahil accountable tayo doon kaya binibigyan natin sila ng safe workplace and at the same time yung mga benefits na binibigay natin sa kanila Good morning from DepEd Agusan del Sur, viewing from Pambuha, North and Summer, watching from Asingan, Pangasinan, and from Jensen. Wow, Jensen. Okay, I have uh, relatives there in the Jensen. Okay, yung mga shout out, yung mga malisido. Okay, so how about from the suppliers? Siyempre kapag ang ating mga suppliers, we are accountable. Uh, kung ano man ang ating mga pinurchase or mga in order, we have to, uh, tagito, we have to pay them kung ano yung dapat na, dapat na ang mga pinurchase natin, no? Customers, we have to give them customer satisfaction and quality in terms of the products and services. We are accountable to that. The local community as a whole and even the particular countries that the firm operates in. Lalo-lalo na we are accountable with the community in a certain business that we are operating. Okay? Next tayo. Okay. Wow! Natutuwa naman ako. We, uh, uh, shout out for Ferdinand Val, uh, Valdez. Good day watching from Parang Maguindanao, B-E-R-M-M. And from Deped Ilocos Norte, Solsola National High School. Nakakatuwa. Good morning po from Estipona National High School from Lisel Makadangda, Kapinding, Laksinto, Genevieve Calabitin, Ferdinand Valdez, and Ruth Fernandez. Ay, Hernandez, sorry. Okay, maraming maraming salamat sa pananood. Okay, let's go to transparency. It refers to the lack of hidden agendas and conditions accompanied by the availability of full information required for collaboration, cooperation, and collective decision making. If we say transparency, you are being open. Okay. Yeah. In a business governance context, transpar transparency is honesty and openness. No? We are uh, transparent in terms of the transactions. Okay? That the yung ano natin, yung ating um, sa transactions sa ating certain project in a certain organization or in a certain company. Bakit kailangan may transparency? It is because para maritain natin yung credibility ng ating not, uh, ng ating uh, obligation, credibility ng department, and as a whole credibility ng organization. Okay? So, it describes the extent to which a corporation actions are observable by outsiders. Yan, corporate transparency. So, syempre, we talk about corporate a certain organization. So, lahat ng mga galaw natin, it is observed by outsiders. Who are the outsiders? Our stakeholders. Okay? So, next is stewardship. Stewardship is an ethic that embodies the responsible planning and management of resources, can be applied to the environment and nature, economics, health, and property information, theology, and etc. Yeah. So, stewardship in the world of commerce, stewardship refers to taking responsibility for the business and the effects it has on the world around it. This involves considering more than just the bottom line and looking at elements such as values, ethics, and moral. So, most likely, ang stewardship is more on corporate social responsibility. So, we are taking care of, uh, we are we are responsible with the management of the resources. Diba ang sabi dyan? So, if we are, stewardship is be, uh, giving, no? Pag meron tayong uh, natanggap, meron din dapat tayong ibibigay. So, paano? By, by means of, let for, ex set for, set for example, uh, let's say, pag sa isang community, nag-operate tayo doon, no? So, 
paano natin give, giving them back by giving uh, scholarships to the to the young ones paano pa giving livelihood projects yan so those are the uh, corporate social social responsibility yan you are elements such as values ethics and moral yeah. Many business leaders are seeing the negative effects of their companies on the world around them and are actively working to alter their business practices and to take more responsibility for their actions. So kung ang certain organization or institution, yun parang na in terms of yung, yung nakakapag-cause ng cli uh, climate change, let's say, uh, factory or whatever. no? So paano makakapagbigay ng giving back kasi may responsibility ka di ba by let's say uh, uh, tree planting o kaya yung drive in terms of climate change yan yan may uh, may sample pala ako dito Starbucks has realigned critical ito yung example ng stewardship Starbucks has realigned critical aspects of its organization so it can help to find solutions for societal issues. This includes encouraging customers and employees to get involved with local community programs, providing clean water to children in developing countries, and providing grants to youth leadership program. So from Mercy Alfred, I saw testimonies of how Miss Mrs. Lorenza Martins has helped people to recover their losses. Uh, I basically decided to give it a try just a little amount it was so amazing and everything works out those people have said and now still came back to this wow yeah this uh that's uh one way of stewardship yeah okay so next tayo we have environmental stewardship for some business focusing on changing their business practices to include more sustainable and environmental friendly initiatives is key driving force of their brand. So if, for example, you drive down climate change, uh, tree planting, regarding doon paano masagot, uh, masolusyon ng mga water pol pollution, ganyan. Uh, yeah, and my example, Unilever has stated that its mission is to decouple its environmental impact from its growth. It is working to alter its manufacturing processes so it can further reduce greenhouse gas emissions, water abstraction, and total waste. So those are the examples of stewardship. Yeah. Your service-oriented stewardship naman. Businesses needed to establish agreed upon codes of conduct and communicate the importance of these rules to all of their employees. Okay, so the, uh, that is the example of service oriented stewardship. Okay. Yeah. So let's have a quiz. Okay, ready na tayo? So we have four. Again, let's wrap up. We have four, uh, four, uh, uh, what we call that? Different kinds of yung mga core principles natin in business operations. We have fairness, accountability, transparency, and stewardship. So let's have the quiz time. Okay. So it refers to the level of even-handedness in dispensing justice. So what is it? Okay. Okay. So uh, uh, A, accountability. B, fairness. C, transparency. D, stewardship. So what is the answer? It refers to the level of even-handedness in dispensing justice. So, the answer is fairness. Okay. Very good. So, very good. See, Princess Joy Riego, correct? Okay. 
Sino pa kaya ang ano nakataa uh, Shirley Milyares. Lucky bato-bato. Yan. Galing. Next tayo. Gagaling ng ating mga estudyante. Yan. From Cheeks Heights. Mm -hmm. It refers to the lack of hidden agendas and conditions. Accountability. Fairness. Transparency or stewardship. Okay. So what is it? So the answer is Yan, transparency. Okay. Ayan. So transparency is being open. Okay, being open. Yan. Very good. C. Transparency. Okay, next tayo. Very good. Megalura Corpus, Lucky Bato Bato, Shirley Milliares, Nika Malyari. Ayan, ang gagaling. Next tayo. It refers to giving each person his or her due. Ay, wait lang tayo. Ano na naman tayo nga. <laughs> Given na ata to. Sige nga, tingnan nga natin. It refers to giving each person his or her due. What is it? So, is it, uh, type nyo na lang ha, uh, fairness, mm -hmm. accountability, transparency, or stewardship. What is it? Okay. Ayan. May nagsagot ng justice. <laughs> Ayan. Sige nga. It refers to giving each person his or her due. Accountability. May nagsagot ng accountability. Ayan. Sige. Check natin. Mm -hmm. Very good. Justice. Okay. Ang galing. Okay. Very good. Justice. From Cheeks Hides. Ayan. Dali pala to. Palataw. Ayan. Very good naman talaga ang ating mga sudyante. Next tayo. It refers to an ethic that embodies the responsible planning and management of resources. What is it? Sige nga. Ano kaya ang sagot? It refers to an ethic that embodies the responsible planning and management of resources. Is it uh, accountability, transparency, uh, uh, transparency, stewardship, or justice, responsibility? Ano pa? Mm -hmm. Type niyo na lang ang sagot. <laughs> Again, fairness, justice, accountability, okay, stewardship. Mm -hmm. So the answer is stewardship. Okay, the answer is stewardship. Very good, lucky bato bato. Okay, yan ang galing, iba. Last is accountability is also responsibility. Is it true or false? Accountability is responsibility. True or false? Okay, the answer is true. Very good. Okay, ang galing. From, Nal, uh, from Nali Palatao, uh, Nunez. Princess Shirley, ayan, uh, Nika Malyari, laki bato bato. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, ang galing ng ating mga sudyante. Maraming salamat sa pagpananood. Watch and learn tayo, no? Okay, once again, this is your tutor, uh, Shilami. Uh, 
for your EdTech ed Itulay uh, bis uh, Business Ethics. So every Friday, uh, every Friday at 11 o'clock to 11.30. Mm -hmm. And as well, shout out sa aking, uh, sa aking uh, school, which is Santa Elena High School Division of Marikina City. And sa May Avengers, okay, ETU. And sa inyo lahat. Uh, dear students, parents, and teachers, maraming salamat sa inyo. Yes, recorded ito. <laughs> you can watch it again in our... Sigurado ako na marami ka na namang natutuhan sa... Sigurado ako na marami ka na namang natutuhan sa ating Itulay Tutorial Session ngayong araw. Tandaan, ito ay hindi lamang para sa ating mga mag-aaral, kundi pati rin sa ating mga minamahal na guro at mga magulang na kaagapay natin para maituloy ang pagkatuto sa kabila ng nararanasang pandemya. Patuloy ding sumubaybay sa DepEd TV para sa mga araling ginawang video episodes. Mapapanood ito mula lunes hanggang sabado, alas 7 ng umaga hanggang alas 7 ng gabi sa inyong mga telebisyon. Abangan sa lunes mula alauna ng tanghali ang iba pang aralin sa ating Itulay Free Online Tutorial Session sa Science. I-like and subscribe at manatiling nakasubaybay sa ating Itulay Tutorial Session sa DepEd EdTech Unit FB page at Educational Technology Unit Channel sa YouTube at sa DepEd Tayo at DepEd Philippines Social Media Accounts. Paalam!